Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm David Kerr from Lansing in Michigan, and these are your latest news headlines from around the world. An elderly priest in Haiti has been killed by armed robbers. 70-year-old Father Andre Silvestri was shot four times by the thieves on Monday as they tried to snatch his suitcase. The fatal attack took place in the heart of Cap Haitian, the island nation's second largest city. Although Father Silvestri was rushed to hospital, he succumbed to his injuries shortly afterwards. May he rest in peace. Father Silvestri was a parish priest and also ran a local orphanage. He was well known across Haiti as the father of the homeless. The Archbishop of Washington DC has corrected President Joe Biden for stating that life does not begin at conception. Archbishop Wilton Gregory was addressing reporters and members of the public at a National Press Club luncheon on September the 8th. He reminded those present that contrary to a recent public utterance by President Biden, the Catholic Church has always taught that life begins at conception. Therefore, he said, the President is not demonstrating Catholic teaching. President Biden made his controversial comment last Friday when he stated that he did not agree that a life begins at conception. That was in response to a question about abortion. President Biden's comments are a departure from previous statements in a 2008 interview as a vice presidential candidate. And again in a 2012 vice presidential debate, President Biden said that he did believe that life begins at conception. Meanwhile, Mexico's Supreme Court has struck down several articles that protect life from conception in the penal code of the state of Coahuila. Pro-life campaigners say the decision, which was handed down on Tuesday, could have wide-ranging effects throughout Mexico. While this week's ruling affects only Coahuila, it could set a precedent for other cases from other states, say campaigners, that are referred to the Supreme Court for adjudication at present. Abortion is legal in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy in only three Mexican states as well as in Mexico City. The Holy Eucharist is the source of genuine peace, so said the Archbishop of Quebec, Cardinal Gerald Lacroix, in an address to the 52nd International Eucharistic Congress currently taking place in the Hungarian capital of Budapest. Cardinal Lacroix told those present that the Holy Eucharist is the sacrament and source of genuine peace as it eliminates conflicts and awakens love. The International Eucharistic Congress is a one-week event which has been held regularly since 1881 to celebrate the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist. All hope is lost for Lebanon and we are left with only prayers and fasting. That's the sombre message from the Assembly of Maronite Bishops at the conclusion of their monthly meeting last Wednesday. Lebanon's Maronite Church is one of 23 Eastern Catholic churches who are in full communion with Rome. Maronites make up just over 20% of the Lebanese population. The Maronite bishops are now calling for a novena, or nine days of prayer, fasting and conversion for Lebanon's salvation, beginning on Sunday through until the 14th of September, the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. In recent years, the people of Lebanon have suffered greatly as a result of economic and political instability. The Middle Eastern country has been without a government since August 2020. Pope Francis has issued a statement calling for action on climate change ahead of a United Nations conference on the issue to be held in Scotland in November. The Holy Father's statement is co-signed by the most senior figure in Orthodox Christianity, the Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople, and also by the most senior clerical figure in Anglicanism, the Most Reverend Justin Welby. The three men warn of climate change, biodiversity loss and environmental degradation caused by natural resources being consumed in an unsustainable way. Together they call upon humanity to listen to the cry of the earth and of the poor. They also pray for those world leaders who will gather in the city of Glasgow in November to discuss the issue of climate change. Finally, the Diocese of Ferns in Ireland has a new bishop. He's the Most Reverend Gerard Nash. 62-year-old Bishop Nash is a native of County Clare. He was ordained to the sacred priesthood in 1991 for the Diocese of Killaloe. He was consecrated bishop in St Aidan's Cathedral in Enniscorthy on September the 5th by the Archbishop of Dublin, the Most Reverend Dermot Farrell. His co-consecrators were Bishop Emeritus Dennis Brennan of Ferns and Bishop Fintan Monaghan of Killaloe. The ceremony was also attended by the Apostolic Nuncio to Ireland, Archbishop Jude Thaddeus Ocolo. Bishop Nash is the 81st Bishop of the Diocese of Ferns, which includes those parts of Ireland evangelised by St. Shinon in the 6th century. Bishop Nash says he wants to nurture a system within the diocese that will listen carefully to those whose voices went unheard before. Congratulations to Bishop Nash and Milto Sanos. 
And that's your latest headlines for now. Do join us for more tomorrow. You can also visit us at swnews.org for news updates. Shalom.